Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next part of Legion's Alpha. We are going on a journey together today. I don't know where it'll take us. I have no idea. This is likely to be a very long video. Uh, we're going to practice and work out, see if we like long form videos in order to make that easy for you. I've put a selection of links along the side, which should enable you, if you're watching on a big screen TV, you can use the times, there's links down below, and so on and so forth, so you can catch up to where we are. So all I've done, literally, and you might notice there's no shadows and stuff, I'm actually playing on Ghosty's machine in the office, and that's because my machine died as soon as the <laughs> alpha update came out in the middle of the night, a nightmare situation, but hopefully it should only be for today, and we should be back to normal tomorrow. So apologies that usually it's in 60 FPS and this will be in 30. We are going to be playing the Survival Hunter. I'm going to take the opportunity to go into the new zones by trying out the new classes. The next ones will probably be, I don't know, Demon Hunter, Shadow Priest. All the ones that look really curious as we move into this Legion world. So I'm going to go over very quickly what's happening with this before we get started. All I've done is log into Dalaran. And you can see we are now in Dalaran that is in the Broken Isles. And this is where we are, right in the center. Dalaran has moved, if you're not aware of that. And the Survival Hunter is now melee with a pet. So, the talents I've chosen. Let me go over these first, the things you get. You get Mongoose Bite. Obviously, it costs nothing. as a recharge time on it, though. And we're going to be trying to weave that in. We're going to see how it plays out. I've never pressed this button in my life. I don't really know how it works out. But every time we do another Mongoose Bite, it does more damage. Stacking up to six times, okay? Uh, we have Flanking Strike, which is kind of our big cooldown. It costs 50 focus, this thing, with a six-second cooldown. And it attacks with, like, us and the pet. We have Laceration, which is essentially Rend. It's just a bleed. I can't see us using that a lot while we're leveling, unless we're fighting like a rare mob or something. So we'll see how that plays out. And Raptor Strike, which is kind of a focus dump should we end up in a situation where we have a lot of focus. Oh, dear. The talents I've chosen. Uh, they were all kind of... These are kind of guesses for leveling, okay? I could be completely wrong on some of them, but I'll, I'll kind of talk through what I thought. We're obviously going to have a very in-depth survival hunter look once I've actually played it, which I haven't yet. So I picked Wave... I was considering Wave the Mock Nathal, honestly. Attacking with Raptor Strike grants you a stack of Mock Nathal tactics, increasing your attack power by 5% for 8 seconds. Stacks 5 times. It's entirely possible we can keep that up while we're leveling, so I might switch to that at some point. Improved traps, reduce the cooldown... We have lots of new traps. So we've got things like steel trap, uh, explosive trap, you'll know. We have tar trap, okay? We have all these kind of things flying around. So we'll see how that plays out, but I can't see it being that useful in leveling compared to just raw attack power. I chose animal instincts, which is when you attack with flanking strike, you will gain a random buff, okay? You gain the instincts of your pet to remind you with a random combat enhancement. Don't know how that works. Don't know what it does. Don't know how long it lasts. Can't wait to find out. Simple as that. Uh, low 30 is some sort of movement speed. I just improved our dash. So this is where I should bring out for those hunters out there. Aspects have changed now to being cooldown. So aspects of the cheetah is now one minute cooldown. that gives you 90% movement speed. Whee! Yeah. 90% movement speed. That's what aspects of the cheetah does now. Aspects of the eagle is our DPS increase. It increases the crit chance of all skills for you and your pet by 10%. And increases your chance to gain charges of mongoose bite by 100% for 10 seconds. Two minute cooldown, okay? That's our big DPS cooldown. We also have aspects of the turtle, which is essentially shield wall for all intents and purposes. Or deflection, all right? Deterrence. You deflect all attacks and, uh, all attacks and take 0% zero, uh, 0 less damage for 8 seconds. I assume you uh, it just works exactly the same. We still have Feign Death. We still have all our pet abilities. These are all in a nice little bar. So I've got Mend Pet on there ready. That's usually the one we want to use. Um... I picked Sticky Bombs here. Sticky Bombs have uh, a rather short cooldown, 30 seconds. And it hurls a Sticky Bomb at your target, which explodes. All right? It deals damage to nearby enemies as well and knocks them down. So a nice CC. He seems happy about it. It's a nice CC while we're out and about and dealing with some probably AW packs. Rather than camouflage or throwing axes where we'll not be in melee range. Not really good. Uh, 75, passive thrill of the hunt, which is working. It says it works on arcane shots, aim shots, and multi shots. We don't have any of those things. So I left that alone for now. We have Dragon's Fire Trap, which is another sort of AOE ish trap. Not really into that one. But Snake Hunter, though, which is a one and a half minute cooldown, grants you three charges of Mongoose Bite. I think we can make good use of that as we generally use DPS cooldowns on big mobs. So they're not all the time. So that makes sense to me. Low 90, I chose Butchery, which is Laceration, and it hits by Carve. I don't have Carve. Uh, Carve is not here. Oh, there it is. I'm a fucking idiot. There it is. Oh, there's Cleave. Oh, thank God. I was wondering where my Cleave was. I'm an absolute moron, so excuse me for that. So there we have. But uh, we're probably not going to be using it as Laceration that much. That's why I ignored that in the first place, okay? So despite me being a complete moron for missing Carve as I went through the spellbook, uh, the fact that it does Lacerate, I'm not that interested in unless we're doing permanent long-term AoE. Uh, Serpent Sting, again, targets hit by a red strike, our calf are also affected by Serpent Sting, dealing damage over 15 seconds. 
Leveling mobs don't last 15 seconds, generally speaking. As far as I know, it could be different once we get in there. We'll find out. I chose Mortal Moves, which is when your laceration periodic deals damage, there's a chance you will gain a charge of Mongoose Bite. So my thinking there is that when we do lacerate, it's probably going to be a big mob again. I'm kind of setting up our cooldowns and uh, abilities for the big mobs. So when we do get benefit of lacerate, we'll get extra Mongoose Bites to tunnel into that big mob. That's my thinking there. At level 100, everything looked boring except for Sentry Turret. We've got to try out Sentry Turret, haven't we? That's what it looks like. You throw a little crate on the ground and there's our little turret. There it is. And of course, in tribute, we are playing the Gnome Hunter. Okay? We are playing our Gnome Hunter. So that is what we're going to be doing today. That's basically the spells and abilities. Everything else is still there. I'm just going to acquire, apply a quick key binding to that carve that I'm absolutely gutted that I missed. So that will go there. We log in Dalaran. A birdie. If I stand out here, guys, this is the most annoying sound in the world if, I, if it occurs to me. Wait for it. <clears throat> Unless everybody's clicked it. What happens, and whether this is an alpha thing or whether we're permanent, is as soon as you log in, or probably when you reach level 100, a raven swoops down from the sky to give you the quest to get things started in Dalaran. And uh, it's the sound of that thing is so frustrating. It's unbelievable. Uh, so this is where we are. That's all I've done is got the quest. Let us begin. Mm -hmm. Your reputation precedes you, Babs. This is a randomized name. It is important that we speak. Okay, let's rock Babs, and roll. I realize we don't know each other yet, but we will. For now, pleasantries must wait. The Legion's threat forces us to seek every advantage we can muster. These hunters have learned of a unique weapon that could prove vital in the battle to come. They need a hunter of great ability to aid them in these forays. I ask you to spearhead the first operation. If that is successful, we can recover the others as well. Yes, yes, yes. Select your first artifact weapon to pursue. Good luck, then. So, we want the High Mountain, the Talon Claw. This is what we want. Oh, yes, indeed. The High Mountain tribe lost their greatest weapon, the Spirit of Huln High Mountain himself, long ago to a magically corrupted monstrosity. They want you to get to Stormheim, kill their nemesis, and reclaim the spear for the fight against the Legion. Deal. Yes. Hello. Hello. Del Madras. And I see another quest has popped up there. That's interesting. So this person doesn't actually Ishi give me the next quest. Are. That's strange. I hope that doesn't catch anybody out. So let's go and find who wants to give us this quest then. In here? Or is it underneath? This strikes me as being underneath. Apatar High Mounting. So maybe we're going down, down into the bowels of Dalaran. Oh. Well, well, well. We've got to go on it for, for, for science. Can I jump on this? I can't jump on this. Where's my double jump? I already missed it. Let's try the old uh, disengage shenanigans. Nope. Okay, so let's go underneath Dalaran. Let's see if I can remember where it is. Let's mount up. Very interesting that it didn't immediately give me the quest to go to the next part. Instead, it just popped up on the map. That is probably if it's in here. The Arsenal Absolute. Aha! There he is! Hello, Apati. Apata. Many years ago, a corrupted Night Saber stalked and killed many High Mountain. Our great chieftain of that time took a spear of the High Mountain, a relic from Huln High Mountain himself, and chased the beast and never returned. I have learned of a powerful Night Saber that lives in the mists of Tidescorn Harbor in Stormheim. I believe this to be our ancient foe. The relic must be there too. If we can kill it and reclaim the spear, it will be of great use against the Legion. Deal with High Mountain's bane. Will do. Take the hippogriff. Oh, follow. You follow me, my brother. Woo, my brother Wuho was supposed to scout out a safe area where we can fly. We will take a hippogriff to the harbor and he should send us a signal. Okay. So off we go. Stormheim. I'm actually so hype about Stormheim. Of all the places I wanted to go, Stormheim is definitely up there. Speed boost. Whoa. Beat you. Lol, lol, lol. Ah, that gnome run. So worth being a gnome. Click this for shits. There we go. And off we go. We'll take your hippogriff. Let's turn off the UI for now. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Boo. Boo. Let me fly over it. Damn you, game. Loading screens for days. Why show us that glorious background and then turn it off? Damn you, Blizz. <laughs> Damn you. Since I, I don't even know what's... If I'm being completely honest with you guys, I don't know what's open. I've been that torn up trying to fix my other PC for the last sort of six hours or so. Oh, this reminds me of vanilla. And we're off. There we go. 
that I, I haven't even checked. I don't know. I have not checked what anybody else has been doing. So, this is murky. All view distance is set to max, etc. And all details are up, so... All I've turned off is shadows for the sake of... And uh, lowered the FPS to 30 in fraps for the sake of uh, Ghosty's machine. It's not a terrible machine by any means. It's still uh, an, I th an i3, I believe, or an i5 with a 660 Ti. Oh, what? Bullshit, dude. What's with the water? I wonder if it's just not loaded in. It's entirely possible this is alpha. Okay. Wooho -ho should have located a good spot to start. Wait for his signal, then regroup. Okay. Did you? Do you two have a plan? Swampy. Not why I expected Stormheim to look like, but still. I have not seen it, but it is the one we seek. The Cavalde here are afraid of a giant cat that made its lair in the deep swamps. There must be a way across. Wuho, tell me everything while our friend investigates the harbour. Babs, if you would like to know more, I will tell you what I know. Sure. Uh, tell me more. No? Tell me about the spear? You liar. What a liar. Okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, let's actually attack something. Turret down. Let's see what the turret does. Wow, I was kind of... Exp okay, let's mongoose fight stack. Hmm. Okay. Not too bad. Boing. Nice. I'll tell you what I'm noticing. By the time we get back in, my mongoose fight is proccing so... Oh, wow. That fucking hurts, dude. And what I can also do, because I've got no charges, is I can flanking strike and then reactivate my mongoose fight. Stacks had run out though, unfortunately. <laughs> Dump some focus. Get a couple of mongoose bites. Flanking strike. And then mongoose bites. Alright, excited to see how this feels. Let's try a uh, let's throw a grenade. Oh look at the timer! Oh that oh that knockback's not what I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting a little more out of that knockdown. It seems to, unless they were unaffected, but that seemed pretty poor. Let's sprint. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit more. Dump a little bit of energy, focus. I'm probably going to call focus energy so much during this playthrough. No loot on any of these, so let's, um, there's no point in fighting these. They're giving you a little of XP, but very, very little. Mm, big aggro range on them now. I'm totally surprised by how quickly my focus is regening. Like, getting back to 50 for flanking strike, I kind of was expecting, more than anything, that the, um... Let's harpoon. Yeah, it's just a little charge. I was kind of expecting that it would be difficult to maintain enough focus in order to keep flanking strike on cooldown. So far, that is absolutely not the case. Stage 3. Something is stirring in the shallows. Activate the ward stones. Hey, buddy. Bah! I grow tired of your errands, old one! Interrupted, though! Cooldowns for days! Thorm's Bolt. Mongoose Bites. Oh, 78k Mongoose Bites in this shitty game. What item level are we at? I'm interested. 680. That thing stacks up fast. More wardstones will be needed to breach the wall. Collect more wardstones from Cavalde in the harbour. Okay. Well, I see you. Yeah, leveling with a survival hunter seems very much about uh, just using basically flanking strike and mongoose bite. But I'm not uh, overly bothered with that. But look how quickly this focus regens. I guess uh, that's something that'll be tweaked long term, but that does feel a little over the top, I would say. Throw a little heal on our pet there. Gotta look after the big doggy. Woof, woof. I'm kind of curious how a uh, steel trap works out. Not great. Let's throw a grenade. 
I, I was curious whether or not the grenade would instantly detonate, and it does. That's cool. <coughs> How's the playstyle in media impressions? Obviously, we've not got a lot of gear, so we're lacking a lot of big stuff like haste and uh, all kinds of good shit. But at the moment, it seems very, very fast-paced, honestly. And it will come down entirely to your Mongus Bite uh, reactions. Mongus Bite, Mongus Bite. Yeah. That build-up to Mongus Bite is the slowest thing in the universe, though, it's got to be said. Oh, stunned? What? I just literally used my Snake Hunter to get extra Mongoose Bites, and it goofed me. Lame, bro. Although, I'm getting an Enhancement Shaman feel there. What happened there is I actually ran out of things to be able to do. So, we'll watch for that. My Mongoose Bites were all on cooldown. Let's try Lacerating. Lacerate on you. Oh, and of course, you can only lacerate one target unless you cleave them. Yeah. Oh, I need the talent for that, of course. What's the talent there? Butchery? That's right, okay. So, unless you take butchery, you cannot cleave your lacerate. Right, understood. Got it. I'm not using turret anywhere near enough. I love this effect when they die, though. It's like corpse explosion. In fact, this whole place has a great, like, almost a piratey atmosphere. <laughs> I get, are you guys getting that vibe as well? It's like a piratey atmosphere. Bet the rogues would feel right at home. So many mongoose spike procs. Yeah, an enhancement sharing feel that when things proc, it's very, very different to when it doesn't proc. The, that feeling of when you get the procs and your mongoose spike keeps resetting and stacking. Very different when it's not going on. Like, it's such a huge difference. Doing, doing, doing. That was the worst disengage I've ever done. I deserve to have aggroed more mobs. Don't banish me, bro. More mongoose bites. I'm stacking it up. See, we're at full mongoose bite stacks there. <laughs> Hitting for 50k. Hitting for 50k. That's cool. That's cool. That thing's going to start hitting so fucking hard once you start getting geared up. Right, the Wall of Fog. Apatar and Woohoo are out near the wards. Find them and find a way to breach the wards. Okay, where is that then? Not on the map. Okay. So, I'm trying to go from memory here. Ah, I can see you. You're over there. Let's put a big uh, thing on you. Besides the water texture, which I assume is unfinished, the swamp land and the uh, froggy sound effects. Very cool. That is not a wall of fog, my friend. That is some kind of wall of magical blue stuff. Just going to say that. Just going to put that out there. Look at the stuff in the background, though. Calm yourself, Wuho. What is the matter, Wuho? You mad, bro? I shall not be stopped by some fog magic. Our tribe's greatest weapon and greatest enemy are but a few strides from us. I have a solution, my friends. I found these runes. Yep. Wonderful. I can just attach them here. Jobs. Oh, we're going to throw spears? Nice. It's so... You know what's really crazy to me so far? I keep... It's so hard to understand a hunter with a charge. <laughs> That's going to take me uh, a few, uh, a few uh, minutes to get used to. Can I not throw one? I mean, I found the runes. There we go. Gyo! Yoink. Whee! Good throw. Avatar wants to get the lay of the land carefully. Follow her around the swamp. It's quiet here. Too quiet. I can't sense any beasts up here at all. Not cool. Don't worry, I've got a turret. I'll machine gun anything that comes at us. I feel we are being watched. Well, okay then. Oh! Oh, there it is! Woof, woof, baby. Meow, meow. Dakar. A path to High Mountain. It is there. And she protects us. High Mountain's Bane. My god, that's so Borderlands. <laughs> that is so Borderlands. Well played. Deadly Shadows. Dakar is sending all illusionary stalkers at you. Defend yourself. Turret! Cleave! Explosive trap. 
Oh, that cleave animation is fucking sick, though. Yes! I like that. That is really nice. Shit DPS. But who cares? It looks fucking awesome. Did they kill my turret? Bro. It probably ran out. That's right. Let's stack the mongoose up. I'm saving all my DPS cooldowns for big boy. I want to see when we get to like six cool, uh, six stacks. Yeah, let's save the mongoose bites. Oh, use flare. Duh. I didn't even read that. There we go. <laughs> so everybody's spamming me. I'm sure the chat right. <laughs> That's gonna be one of their moments. Will someone drop a flare, preach? Drop a flare, dude. Flare, dude. Flare. Reading quests. Crazy talk. Okay. Cleave is very ineffective. Very, very ineffective. Turret down. What damage does this turret do? Not a lot. 169? What? I think that's uh, probably under tune for now, don't you guys think? Chaining those... At least this is teaching people to use Flare. I mean, I even have Flare Keybinded. I'm not sure how many Hunters, especially ones who've just picked up the class, would have Flare Keybound. So I like that. It's kind of... Um, it's like a Proving Ground without being a Proving Ground. Could have anywhere there. Hero, do you think you have a trap strong enough to grab the beast so we can kill it? Uh, uh, do I have freezing trap and I've not put it on my bars? Something explosive. Yeah, sure. There we go. Maybe I can fire it. Nailed it. Whoa! Flare up. The flare. Oh, let's get it into the trap then. Come on. Is it attacking me from behind? There we go. No? Click this thing then? <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. I'm feeling, guys, that if you don't spec into AoE, you don't do any AoE. Like, at all. <laughs> Your AoE is just non-existent. Which is kind of sad. Let's drop a turret for the big 169s. There we go. Right, lacerate on. Flanking strike. Mongoose 1. Mongoose 2. Pop uh, cooldowns. What? Upper... Woo-ho! You're down, dude! Ah, oh, you should have never bribed. You got one shot. What a fucking noob. Bro. The beast has fled to another layer of mist. Trap it again and avenge Wuho. Do we have to, though? I mean, I don't want to be a dick or anything, but that guy's kind of a twat. These wounds, they do not heal. <laughs> These wounds, they do not heal. Come on. You know that's where that line came from. We're bleeding. Cannot heal past 75% health. Oh no. Woof woof. Sorry it down. Big dick deeps. Oh thankfully because uh, there's only two of us now. There's less doggy wugs. Anyone got a flare? Yes, I have a flare. There we go. Oh, I haven't got my cooldown. All right. Let's stack these mongoose. Are you dead as well? Everybody's dying. Oh, come on. And now one man must face the beast alone. End the foul monster. Find our tribe's relic. You got it, buddy. Your name shall never be forgotten, Apato. We got this. Why the fuck did I even bring these people? You know what I mean?
You know what I mean, Johnson? Sprint. Lair of the Beast. Well, here we go, folks. Flare down, because, you know, lacerate on. Right, let's try this again. Aspect of the Eagle. Mongoose Bite. Mongoose Bite. Flanking Strike. Mongoose Bite. Look how much my Mongoose Bite is brocking. Still at three stacks. Down to one stack. Pop a cooldown. Back to three. Show me a big crit. Did not get the big crit. That's really sad. But we were seeing some big normal hit damage there. Love to see that in raid quality gear for when you guys get in here. Oh, disappointing. Artifact weapon denied. Slay the Hound Mighty's Bane. I sense your destiny is tied to that of the ancient night elf who started you on this journey. I can send you back to the city in the sky. Fight well. May Talonclaw serve you well. So, where is it? Look it in. Alright, it's just auto equipped it then. And there she is. Nice. Right click to view the artifact. Mm, can't do it yet. Reduce the cooldown of exhilaration. Yeah. Uh, just a stat stick for now then. Okay. Back to Dalla we go! <coughs> very short. Very, very short for the artifact stuff. I understand they've had to make a hell of a lot of them, but I was expecting a little bit more there. Maybe some of you guys were. Uh, I think my first approach to this stage of the alpha is probably to do every artifact quest and get them all done. That was a nice little story. It was a nice little story. Was it as long as a throne of throne uh, an island, a throne island scenario? Maybe not. Oh, here it is. You see this fucking thing? This raven flying down? Oh, so annoying. All right, Amariel Shade Warden, Unseen Path. How may I help? So the bane of the high mountain is dead, and Talonclaw is recovered. I'm sorry to hear about Apata and Wu Ho. They will be missed greatly in the conflict to come. I don't think so, dude. Honestly, no. Be careful. It's probably better they're gone. Since ancient times, my order has stood vigil on these broken isles, watching for the Legion's return. Only a handful of us remain, but that changes today. The artifact you hold is more than a weapon. It is a symbol that we will unite hunters of all kingdoms and creeds. I'm sure you have questions. Meet me at the True Shot Lodge in High Mountain, yes! And see with your own eyes what awaits us. Snowfeather and I will make our own way there. Yeah, Deal! Optional, speak to the Flight Master at Crassus Landing. Meet at the True Shot Lodge. Uh, the True Shot Lodge. Oh, baby, baby. To the True Shot Lodge we go. Gnoming all the way. Pink tails wiggling. We're going to the lodge. Every time I hear the word lodge, I just think it's beer. Come on. Uh, oh. Um, you don't know any fight points. Okay, so. How may I help? Here we go, then. Can't it take me there? Is it not in the game yet? Uh, no, dude. Oh, disappointment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Good luck, oh, awesome. Right, let's hope it doesn't take us to another loading screen. That would suck, but... Look at this. Oh, man. I'm getting that nostalgic... F oh, and there she blows. Yeah, baby. <laughs> No texture on that yet. Oh, that. Man, we are a long way from release. Beautiful. Man, the nostalgic feel that I used to get when you'd leave Dalaran and fly into, like, Ice Crown. Or, oh, so good just to see the world below you. And this calming sort of group hippogriff sound. Beautiful. That looks like it's going to be intense when it's all textured out. Look, it's like uh, Vienna. The, Vienna, the Venetian canals. Oh, this world's going to be stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's a big fucking mountain, bro. Bet there's some bad shit in there. You know there is. Oh, yeah. Ooh. A lot of Blood Elf Yonsons. Ah. Oh, my. Dread Waste vibe. Bit of a Dread Waste vibe there. Oh, we're going to see the class halls. I mean, how far can we go with this? I'll be really interested to see. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. 
And it's gorgeous while it's unfinished. I mean, that is such a Lord of the Rings... Uh, a Lord of the Rings vibe I'm getting from this place. These huge, tall cities. All statues over the top. Oh, I want to go in there. Emerald Nightmare? Is that the tree thing? I don't know. <laughs> Lord, guys, shoot me. Looks like it to me, though. Looks like a naughty tree. So I'm assuming that's where that is. It doesn't feel big, but, I mean, we're flying over it. It doesn't feel as big as I, I would suspect. And here's the lodge. Okay, cool. Here we are. Hey, buddy. Okay. You already own a garrison. What? For a thousand years, the unseen path has watched and waited. We remained few in number. Quietly acting behind the scenes when Azeroth needed us. Only a select few even know of our group our group existed. But the time for lingering in the shadows is over. Before we begin our work, you should hear more about the Unseen Path. Here Emmanuel's tale. Emerald. Oh, woo. Walk with me, Babs. Will do. Johnson with me. The fuck is that? Oh, that's them Ice Crown Bros. The Unseen Path was founded after the War of the Ancients to safeguard the people of Azeroth. From these broken isles, we watch for the Legion's return. As we arrived here to build the True Shot Lodge, the Eagle Spirit, On Ara, appeared and gave her blessing. From that day forth, we called this the Scrolling Text. Oh my god. Over the centuries, most of the fellow watchers have been lost. The few of us remaining sought out heroes worthy to heed the call with the Unseen Path was needed once again. The Far Striders vow to fight at your side. The Unseen Path will be stronger than ever before. Look at the collection of all the bros. Let's see, see who's here. See who we got. You're tall. Got some Nels, some Orcs, Stoller races, the Blood Elves. What? Baladash, Malanore. Don't be shy. What's your story? Love it. Tell me of your travels. Warm wishes to you. Uh, would the pandas be here? What do you say? <laughs> okay. Sure. How may I help? The Legion has returned and the Unseen Path needs new blood. New leadership. The weapon you hold is proof. There is no one better suit. Uh, that's it. I'm the leader then. Woohoo! Yeah, you got the weapon. It wasn't that hard though. I'm pretty sure a lot of you could have come along. Assemble before you are many of our world's greatest archers, rangers, beastmasters, and trappers, ready to fight the Legion as one. It is time to take your first step in becoming a true leader of hunters. We gather at the fire pit and take our oaths of service before the statue of on Ra. Touch the statue and kneel before it while I recite the oath and the unseen path will be reborn. We are the Night's Watch. What? Kneel before the eagle statue. Yeah. Definitely seeing the inspiration for this bit. <laughs> Take the oath. I hope it's something uh, something along the Night's Watch. We are the Watchers in the Wild! <laughs> we are the Eagle on the Wind. We walk the lonely road. Yeah. For ours is the Unseen Path. <laughs> Up in the sky, behold Onora. The spirit of the Eagle has returned. Hey, buddy! Any words of wisdom, spirit bro? No? Okay. You gonna land? You're just gonna kinda linger there. Alright. Hello. <clears throat> Onara has not appeared to us since the order's founding. What? You guys just guessed? It's so beautiful! It's beautiful. That eagle would fly better with mechanical wings, says Bam Megabomb. The eagle lower. Praise the spirits. Praise the sun. Up in the sky, behold Onara. The spirit of the eagle has returned. For ours is the unseen path. This is surely a good sign. I would imagine so. And we gained a follower. Okay. Great. Even with the support of your fellow hunters, the crusade against the Legion will consume much of your time and attention. It is war you cannot fight alone. I first served our order's founder, Namuria, Gladesong, acting as her eyes and ears when she was needed elsewhere. It will be my honor to do the same for you, Babs. I pledge my loyalty to you and to the unseen path for all my days. Rock and roll. Good luck. Oh. 
Nice. Never going to get that on live. The altar of the eternal hunt. Now that you've rallied hunters from across Azeroth together, it's time to turn your attention to the battle against the Legion. Within the True Shot Lodge is the altar of the eternal hunt. It is an ancient relic alive with old magic, and I believe it can be used to infuse your weapon with even greater magic. Oh, we're going to see our artifact weapon. Nice. Let's go. Uh, all right, I'm on my way. You guys stay here and kind of just mill around this pet thing. Oh, it's Frexa, dude. What's up, man? I pledge my axes and my pets to your cause, Babs. Nice. We got Huffer and Misha. Oh, it's Misha. Hello, Misha. You know? Yeah, I'll say it. I didn't know. <laughs> I did not know that Misha, if the Hearthstone card, uh, was Rexar's pet. There you go. Another thing that you guys can mock me for. Hit me. The Dark Lady has lent the Rangers to your cause of the Pathfinder. Nice. Uh, okay, very first impressions, pretty shitty. This looks like a kind of typical night elf cabin. Let's have a little browse. I don't know, I was expecting something with a bit more spectacle. But it's a lot of under construction signs outside, so we won't go to be stupid about it. Portal to Dalaran, excellent. So we can return to Dalaran via there. Maybe this thing even grows. Thazdara, Legacy of the Windrunners, Titan Strike, and Talon Claw. So here's all the artifact weapons. So are these like the crafting tables, I guess? How may I okay. you? May the Eagle Spirit guide your hand. You too, Brother Ben. Greetings. Excellent. Infused with power. The weapon you hold will strike a potent blow against the Legion. But the demons are relentless. Just as your battle tactics grow and evolve, so must your weapon. The altar before you courses with ancient magic and is alive with the skill and dedication of the hunters who have used it through the ages. Place your artifacts upon it. And over time, you will awaken the full potential of your weapon. Use the altar to imbue your artifact weapon with new power. Okay, then. Uh... Oh, this altar? Okay. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, obviously, Fury of the Eagle. Channel spell strikes all enemies in a cone, dealing damage to them. This ability is empowered by stacks of mongoose bite. Excellent. Eh? Whoa! Nice. Very cool animation, Blizz. Well played. Increase the damage of your mock. Oh, you can stack the damage up. Holy tits and ass and all big cocks. Appearances. Ooh, none so far. Boo. Boo. Transmog. Boo. Hail. Didn't it? Done it, bro. Wondrous. The growing power of your artifact will strike fear into the hearts of the demon army. Now that your artifact is ready, it's time to plan your first strike against the Legion. Speak to Tactician Tinderfell, our expert on such matters. Okay. Ancestors watch over you. Cool. So, there it is. Fury of the Eagle. So, at six stacks. Interesting that they're now mixing... Um, they're now mixing in... Uh, a single target attack into something that's AoE-ish, but it's probably a single target DPS increase as well, I would guess. I mean, I'm hazarding a guess, but... We'll certainly test it out and see exactly the kind of damage we're going to get out of that thing. Especially if we get to six stacks. So let's put it on, just for now, we'll stick it on shift three. And let's go and have a chat with this guy over here. Outfits of Reynolds. I'll just see if there's anybody I recognize after seeing Rex out there. He's, what are you taking in? Ah, the map. Okay. I That's the shittest the map I've ever seen. Okay. The campaign begins. The Legion believes we are still reeling from our loss on the broken shore. Let's prove them wrong. Our scouts have mapped out the broken isles, learned everything we can about each Legion for our imminent assault. Choose where to strike first, and you will lead the Unseen Path's efforts personally. When you have made your decision, I will teach you how to call upon the Eagle Spirit to return you here. Choose an initial map assault upon on the command map. Okay, so we get a, a Hearthstone for here, which is uh, not surprising. Uh, well, I'm not going to do this in this video. I'm going to do it in the next one. Surumar. Stormheim. Surumar again. Azuna. Broken Shore. This, um, this sort of... Uh, can I not click these things? Uh, is this where the current alpha ends? Maybe. Click Stormheim. No. See, I've no. I'm not entirely sure where this uh, portion of the alpha ends. So it looks like it might be here. 
Either that or I make a mistake. Either way, I'm not going to do... Uh, I'm going to do the zone experience in a different video anyway. So, that was cool. We did the artifact quest for the survival hunter. Got a little play around with it. Um, I'll save my... I'm going to play a little bit around with it a lot more. I mean, we didn't kill a lot. We killed some basilisks in a swamp, let's be fair. So, I'm going to do uh, a lot more testing with it before I give a, an initial feedback. Or a more sort of appropriate feedback. But there you go, guys. Let's have a little... Uh, before I finish up and go to our conclusion... Or conclude this video... Let's just browse around and see exactly what we've got. So... I assume these are going to be vendors, I would guess. Got some bears over here. You don't stand around watching while another hunter is taming. It's kind of personal, you know. Dude, what are you doing with those bears? Uh... What do you need? Yeah, you need to ease up. Oh, I'm cat bro! From that cataclysm place. Oh, we're in tier two. That shenanigans. You weren't even in the game when tier two came out. Bullshit. Noob. You went back and farmed that when it was easy mode. Don't trust. Do not trust. St Sir Gurgles. Sir Gurgler. Sir, Sir Gurgler Stabby Gurgle Slur. <laughs> I gas out the aim true. Okay, what's over here? Said Jib the leather worker. A bower and gunsmith. What nice. can I help you with? Strength. So we've got a vendor over here. Cora. Rain's pet. Oh, why are you all sad? Is Rain dead? Should I know that? Ah. Oh, sad kitty. And that looks to be about it. Let's just check around the other side real quick. So it is just like a night elf lodge then. It's something you would see in Darnassus. And uh, this is uh, always good to have you around camp. I know, right? Carry. Can't shoot them. No training dummies here? I would have expected training dummies to be here. I wonder what they're going to put in place of these construction objects. Either way, yeah, back here. Tales of the Hunt. These stories. This tome will fill with pages on the history and power of your artifacts as your knowledge level increases. Nice! We got like a big totem statue. That's pretty cool. And that does seem to be about it. There it is. That is your Hunter class hall and the survival artifact weapon. So, I'm... Ooh, let me just see. Can I start the quest? I mean, I wouldn't mind just going and doing the quest for... I don't have dual spec. Uh, ah, here we go. Yeah. Have I got gold for this? Sure. Let's see if I switch over to a different spec. Does it say... Oh, I can't play it? Ah. Oh, that's a bummer. Hmm. Okay, what I'll do is I'll make another hunter just to confirm that, but it's probably just disabled. All right, guys, there you go. That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to be doing everything. Click the links in the background or just simply check the playlist and find what you are looking for and hopefully I'll have it covered for you. If you want to see something in particular or you want me to do it in uh, great priority, please leave a comment and ask me and I'll try and shift it up the list so we can get it done. All right, guys. Thank you so much.